What's good, y'all? It's the Kim Max on Wendy, and I'm back for episode 10 or so of what? A very, very, very special guest. Uh, so, um, so, it's the Kira J, the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking Kira J, she's not going to PR, but um, her and Wendy and Jay do some swaps in that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to be back. What's the vibe? How's it going to be? We out here, man. <laughs> we out here. It's late as fuck, but we still, you know, we getting it done. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a late one. It's definitely a late one. Said we on, uh, California time. Sure. What does that even mean? What is California? It's three, three hours, hours behind, bro. Oh, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay. It's eight o'clock over there right now. So you said it early. I was like, huh? You know, I don't get this. Yeah, so like it's eight fifteen. I never really get the little sayings. Like, I'm not. Just say what you mean. You definitely almost mean what you say. You're three hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the vibes? How you feeling this week? Oh, wait, wait. Tell me a sign. Tell me a sign. Everybody who doesn't know. Can be a if you don't know what's my sign, I'm a motherfucking Aries. That's what I am. I'm a strong Aries. A strong one. Strong, very, very strong. Very strong. <laughs> I have to agree with that. Yeah, so how you feeling this week? How you feeling? I'm feeling very tired. But motivated. I'm tired but motivated to keep going. Because I'm tired because I've been working. I've really been working all week. Then I stop more than night, more than night. I'm just trying to get some money. That's it. So I'm tired. Okay. But other than that, you're good. You mentally you're good. I like it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm mentally mentally I'm good because I'm making money. Like I feel like if you're not making money, you're not meant to be good. Because like it may honestly it, it honestly goes hand in hand. I get that. So nobody likes to be broke. Right. That's, that's a good one. Alright, alright. What you listening to this week? You listening to anything that gets you through? Or are you just riding the side? But you do that a lot. So that's why I'm asking. Yes. If yes. So I this week I've honestly been listening to Jasmine Sullivan. Truthfully, honestly, Which like lately. Are you from hotels or are you from Oh, bust the windows. Bust the windows. <laughs> I bust the windows, but I miss you. I don't understand, but I love you. You know, you know, you know. That's that's just that's just what it is. That's how I feel. But that's that's really that's that's the only thing I listen to playing other than Beyonce. Truthfully, so true. Like that's the only thing I really listen to. Or when I'm in the car, I ride in silence. So you can listen to yourself. Yeah, I listen to myself mostly. <laughs> what I'm about to listen to. I can't really pin it. I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I was gonna say, can I look? But I feel like it's somebody else I've been listening to, but I really don't. Oh, a lot of um, a lot of West Kid, a lot of Afro Beach, a lot of Burnable. Yeah, I've been seeing that. What's up with that, bro? Bro, that's all she listened to too. Like, what is that? Like a trend or something? Like, who are these niggas, bro? Their music is just super fucking high vibrational, though. People from the island, like, they make you feel like West Kid is the shit. They, they just saying, saying they motivational, motivational shit. stuff. They saying motivational shit. Like, like you know, they say it is. It's not dark. It's not like 808s and drums and shit. It's like so 808 is dark. No, no it's it's, it's just, just be like feel good. Like I love my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. Like you feel like you're on the ocean. Like dang, I said. Everybody saying it. I'm like, I love my life. Okay, <laughs> with gratefulness. I don't know why everybody. I don't know what's up with that shit. I'm like, bro, who are these Jamaican sounding ass niggas? Why everybody <laughs> listening to this shit, man? It's lit. No, they. Listen, this is They listen for Caribbean. Music. They're Caribbean. It's Caribbean music. Most Caribbean music. We, I feel like we as black people, some black people don't understand it because all we listen to is a certain type of music sometimes. And like their music is upbeat, like she said, like it's uplifting. Yes, it, it does uplift it's you. Awesome. And it's kind of, it kind of will make you be like, what the hell? Because maybe you're not used to that. You're not used to listening to it. So it's like, wait a second, why y'all so, why y'all so happy? Yeah, y'all you know? Right black people. Like, what's, the, what's the secret? I don't know. But Wizkid does, it is fire. I love, I love, and I love music about women. They talk about women a lot. I love music that be. (laughs) They be hyping that culture. They be hyping it up, like you know what I'm saying. I like music like that. They be like the poom poom. Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah, definitely. That ain't it, bro. Yeah. So we're gonna jump into the hot topics since now we know what everybody's listening to. But first, before we do that, I want to shout out these drinks tonight. Sponsored by Jaw Drop the Lights. I'm gonna put her IG in the corner. 
corner for people who are watching. If you're just listening, they can check out the about me and Google see the name as well. But yeah, they're super super good. This is a blueberry watermelon mix. It's frozen. Top with some cotton candy and candy kind of thing. With some Patron in there. I'm always drinking Patron, so I'm thinking there's nothing wrong. Um, you know what I'm saying? Support your black businesses and have that. My boy's telling me to pour him up. I'm gonna pour you up. I was saying pour you up. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm let's take a shot. Tr- oh, we should take a shot. I was going to say that too, right. but I was so going to let her say her talk because I'm feeling kind of. Yeah, yeah, uh, no. I just wanted to show her like I need to open it up. Oh, okay. I told her that I would, so I just wanted to. My bad. See, I, I, that's why, I, that's why it, I'm in the back. It, it feels kind of weird being on this end. Why? Why? Yeah. Because, because usually. Because you are usually in the back. Because, because, I, because I talk to you all, all the time. Like when I see you doing this, it's a different, like, like you're working. Right, right. In a sense, but I'm also working too. This is where your show is working. I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean right now today? Yes. Oh, I thought you were on the regular. That's why I was like, what? Yeah. What? No, definitely. Definitely it is. It is. I mean, no, oh, you're not. <laughs> people, people who are listening and who don't know you, which people who are, they probably know you. We'll get into that. But I'm saying people who know you. So. It's just they probably like damn. Y'all she's the voice we hear behind the behind the scenes. Y'all know that music she be talking about in the episodes. If you've been watching, if you haven't been watching, tune in. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, we gonna take what? a shot first. Yeah, because <laughs> she was talking to shit, and you don't know what to be like that off camera. So I'm gonna let you take a shot. Let's do it. All right, let's get into this week's hot topics. Um, first on the list that I got is Angela Yee. You know what that is? Like the stuff? Yes. Okay. Cool. She recently went on an interview, and I was making sure she recently went on an interview, and she basically said that um, she used to receive major backlash working at the Breakfast Club for being the only woman. Um, and Lil Mama came forward and said that that's cap that she used to be right on there for me. Do you remember the episode where Shawn made me what happened from? No, I don't remember that. Damn, I wish it was a meme. It was a meme of Lil Mama crying for years behind the shit. But anyway, Lil Mama said that that's cat. The Angelique used to be on the show, but the DJ and me said that that's cat. Um, and then also, Erica Mina said that that was cat, which is crazy because, you know. But Erica Mina needs to be quiet because she messed with DJ Envy. Right, like she got no business. So you need to be quiet. With anything breakfasting, you need to hush. <laughs> you shouldn't even eat breakfast with nothing. that, but you only eat brunch. <laughs> brunch, bitch. Oh. You don't must mess with that little man. I'm crying, but either way, <laughs> do you think that it's possible to, like, could you understand where she's coming from? Do you think that being the only woman on the show with those two men is, is But backlash from who? Who is she receiving? Yeah, she didn't say who. She said it was just hard being the only woman. Some of her opinions weren't recognized. And she yes, and she I can see how it wasn't recognized, but I don't know if she received a backlash because I see, a, like, one instance with her with Kim Michelle. Mm-hmm. And Kim Michelle had to read her on the show and had to tell her about herself because she's like, you basically like throw the rock and then hide your hand. Like when certain people come on the show or she'll do like, she, or they'll have like, you know, there's celebrity stuff going on and then she'll say something and then come back on the show and then just act like a different type, type like of different type of person. Yeah, so if you receive a backlash, it's probably from the women. That's why La Mama said, but no. to blame it on them. No, it's crazy. It's fucking it's lame because the they gave like, you the platform. But not that they gave it to you. I don't want to say like they they, they gave all created it together. They gave them the well, platform. They, man. They no, gave they, it. so who started it first? Who was the first person on the show? Um, she's the third wheel of the I show for sure, bro. Was, I don't know who started her, it first, honestly, but she's I'm the third wheel. No third wheel because lip service is fucking fire, and they needed and her. She got her own shit all the way up with Angelique. I'm not gonna. I'm never gonna. That's say not like, Why would you ask me? You know, I listen to lip service. No, no, I like lip service, so I'm not hating. I was just seeing like if it was a way that it could be understood. I still, however, think that you just got out of there. Like you was just at Breakfast Club two weeks ago. I think it's crazy to just as soon as you make it out, you start. But I feel like, yeah. she, but, but I feel like you can tell from the show that she would have a lot to say when she left. It's a man, it's a a man built show. Dealing with, I feel like the only backlash she received was from them. You need to put names on that, Angela. <laughs> you need to put names on that. Seriously, Yo. only because only because she didn't see like she didn't even see. Yeah, no, seriously though, no. she really need to put she really need to put a name on it because I really feel like she's talking about them too. 
I think working with Charlemagne, you're gonna receive some type of backlash because that nigga say in in everything that comes to his mind. I fuck with Charlemagne. I mean, you know that one first time. I'm no, I'm not. Don't do that. That's disrespectful. Drake That's disrespectful. Drake and Charlemagne have disarmed what podcast? No, I'm not. Says whatever comes to his mind. No, I say I say I say some real shit. Charlemagne say some some bullshit. He don't say no real shit. That should be crazy as hell. No, hell no. He goofy as fuck, bro. That's crazy. He do some goofy shit, but some. What? What's goofy that y'all made? Every day. Not every day. What's funny? What I'm saying he do some goofy shit, like because he's funny to me. That's what I mean. Yeah, he's funny to me. I actually like Charlamagne because he says whatever he wants to say. Maybe you don't like him because he's good for the brand. Like him. Yeah, he's funny. 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 They were running. And they were well, they've been club. running for a very long time. Yeah, even the Breakfast Club now, without Andy Lee, is fucking fire. They just had Jess Hilarious on there last week. She, she loved Because she, the, cause she the third one. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Those motherfuckers is. I fuck with the Breakfast Club. They've been bringing us good events for years. All right, next up, anyway, on the hot topics. We got Michael B. Jordan versus Loren. I think that's the name, Loren. I hope I'm saying that right. I think it's Loren. I think I'm Captain. I got to go check it. Lauren, Lauren. Either way, she used to be a co host on um, Angela Yee's Lip Service. She used to be on there. I gotta dust some cut off and drink all the clothes on the way. Yeah, so if y'all see the clip, you see the clip? I think we really just had a debate. It's crazy talking about this on the show. That's not what we like really got into. Right we really got into a debate about this at the crypto debate. But, but it's let's show. bring it up then. We're gonna bring it up though, because now we got other opinions in here, so let's talk about it. Uh, Michael B. Jordan recently um, directed his first movie, Creed 3. He was on the red carpet. He was being interviewed by Lauren. I want to say my name is Lauren. I'm not saying it wrong. But either way, he was being interviewed. Let's call him Low. Yes, I'm going to call him Low because I don't want to be disrespectful. But she she has done a lot of things. I just can't remember her name. And I think I wrote it wrong. Either way, she was interviewing him and she was like, oh, we go way back. Um, he was like, yeah, funny kid, right? Like he addressed her because they went to school together. And also, I didn't realize this. He was, it was also from a clip on a podcast of them calling her, calling him corny. But on the clip that was played, she didn't call him corny. The friend said it. The other girl said it. She was like, he's corny. And she said it. Or either way, let's just backtrack before, oh, yeah. okay. before I go down there. He says, you had a corny kid, right? She's like, yeah, I never said that. Basically, he calls her out when they went to school together. Uh -oh. He's mm -hmm. like, so, you know, basically calling her out, like, almost like this bitch is now you in my face, but yeah. here's this. What yeah. do you think? Let's, let's start. My, let's start opinion, start. my opinion of it is, I actually can see both sides of it. But personally, me, I just would have probably walked past the reporter as a whole, like, you see me, you, see, you call me corny back then in school, but you see me, though. But I'm not even finna give you the time of the day, because I don't even want to talk to you. Truthfully, like, what is that really talk about? But you see me, and I, and, and I know you see me, and you're probably not thinking about what I'm thinking about. But you, you corny now, for like, cause you a reporter waiting for me to come up. But like, she's a journalist, a journalist. Yeah, she's a, a podcaster. Yeah. So, but you're waiting. You're waiting for the new <laughs> yeah, person to come in. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, for the last. <laughs> <way you're, laughs> yeah, yeah, you're at you're at something that I'm the star at. So right. hey. But I, but I don't, but I don't see what's wrong. with I don't know why it has to be called corny. I just think it's like the first thing he's done that someone think that is rude because he's never acted this way before. But I don't think it was rude. I think people, I think that's a misconception. No, but I'm saying that's what they're calling. Yeah. I should say rude. Even that's people who were calling it rude, he wasn't rude. He was actually very, very polite. It wasn't, it wasn't a matter of him. Yeah, he handled it way better than if he was gonna flame up. He was supposed to flame up way. I don't think he was wrong at all, bro. I don't think he was wrong at all. No, nah, because the same thing Kerry J said, bro. I, if it was me, like, it, it would have been a way different. Yeah, like, if I blow up, bro, and there's some bitches, like, uh, niggas that I know went streaming my shit or went fucking with me, bro, right. and then they, um, now that I'm blowing up and they try to, like, all right, bro, I'm I'm Wait, saying bro, way Michael B. I Jordan didn't say half of what I would have said. I would have made a half pill. Check me out. Bro. This big, bro, on that motherfucker. He was supposed to flame my ass up for sure, for sure. Like fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think? I'm scared. I feel the same way. I see both sides, but if somebody's telling you they dead ass, like, oh, I don't remember, or oh, 
I didn't mean it like that. Just take their word for it and be like, well, she, you still see me. She didn't say she didn't remember. She said she she's said I didn't talking say to them. them. She said I didn't call you corny, but that's because what she said that at? on the thing. She was like the corny kid, oh, right? And she oh, said I didn't. I didn't. She he said the corny kid, right? On the on the red carpet. She said I didn't say that. So that's what that's but what I didn't hear that. Yeah, you gotta. I feel like what I heard. I feel like she said is, but I. Well, I just I don't know. I thought she said. Well, it doesn't matter. I just feel like why are you trying to act like we go way back? Yeah, you're like that's what that was that. the fake part for me. Like, don't try to act like it's all way back. Yeah, because he was just hating on me. Yeah, like, I honestly, I probably would feel the same way. Uh, like, we, we don't go way try back. Try to now. try to do it in a way that they feel dumb, but then it backfires, and it's just like, damn. I think she, you, you didn't really say that. I think now, personally, what saying the corner kid, right? He didn't say shit. Though. I think it was lame, not because I just feel like. That made you corny. I would never entertain somebody who called me corny. Yeah. This is the time and place that you're at my event. I feel like that if that's really how you're looking at the situation, when you come and interview me, I don't gotta say it. Because bitch. You see me. Bitch, yeah. If what get your question. Don't, 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 like you, don't act like you don't act like you fuck with me and you don't fuck with me, bro. He not wrong for like and then it goes back right to what I said about did. What I said, I said we don't go way yeah, back. Yeah, we don't go way she back, said, bro. Go you way back. Like we went to school and laughed about it. She didn't be like, "Oh, he was my best friend." Like, yeah, nah, we don't. We don't go way back. Though, though, my she's nigga. trying to get credit to the people who know you. Like she, she don't like the credit. Way back. She already has her. Own but it's still own. like some type of umph that we go way back. Everybody that went to Lake Gibson can't say they go way back. But if a person who I went to school with says, "Oh, we went way back," I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, we went to school together." But, but y'all didn't go way back. Though. But bro, it doesn't mean I'm it's just up y'all. Like, oh. Y'all have different definitions of going way back. Yes. Let's, let's just say that. Like oh, the corny kid. On. I think that was corny. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it was corny because it's like he wasn't rude. And, and why are you that bothered? Plus, you really that nigga? Why are you that bothered by? Her? It's the principle, bro. It ain't about him being bothered. It's the principle. And bro. then on top of that, we, we we weren't even there. We don't know if he was at a. You seen the full clip of the whole area? Yeah, I seen the full clip. What did he? What did he do? He walked up right to her. Yeah, he walked up to her. He walked up to her when he walked up to her. He had a mug on the video. He had a mug on his face from the moment he. Walked I didn't up know he walked up to her. Hold on. Like he couldn't look for her to ask the question. Yes, on some lame shit. Like oh, I didn't know he. Had, by her. I you know could have just been like, I saw the corny kid. Going. You could have said it after the fact, like even oh, he after, walked up to she, her. Even after she said that, she laughed. She said, "Ha ha, I guess you're not corny anymore." Yeah, see, nah, nah, he should have blamed her. he still though, made bro. an angry ass face, but what? Now she's addressing what you said. And you yeah, nah, I ain't Cardi no more, bro. Fuck crazy. you, huh? Bitches is gonna say a million and one things about you. Who gives a fuck? That's just funny. And you can't, you can't. I'm not saying I disagree with him. I still don't think he was rude. I don't think he disrespected him. Some people are saying she, he was disrespectful. I don't think that, but I just think that that was, I, I think that proves her point. Like, you still are corny as fuck. Because you're still mad about, and, and they want to admit Because you're still you know, mad about, you're still mad you're corny as fuck. And granted, I'm still gonna see Creed because I fuck with the movie. <laughs> I fuck with the, I fuck with the, with the movie. Sometimes it's about the principle, bro. It ain't even about niggas still being mad or nothing like that, bro. It it's just depends principle. on the type of person you are. If you are more susceptible to holding grudges, or you just let shit be and just be like, well, I don't care. It just depends on if you're that type of person. And what you're saying is reflecting one of those very strongly. Mm. Everybody actually. Nah, I don't know. think she holds grudges. I really don't. Don't call was, me. Don't but call she me. also said that she. But I can see how he cursed. I can see how he. He didn't curse her. I can see. I don't hold grudges, but remember what you said. When you yeah, said but stand on it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you stand on it because I remember and it is what it is. So yeah, stand on it. have it play out later. Don't be saying hey to me because I'm yeah. gonna make sure that you feel that vibe. Right yeah, when no, I'm on my own. I would have just kept walking. Yeah. I think that's my. I would have just kept walking. I don't think that it's in the face. Anyway, next up on a hot topic I got besides that, let's um, do Chris Brown pulled one of his fans up on stage, and the girl was on her phone too much, so he threw her phone in the crowd. He threw it in the crowd. I thought he laid it on her lap. I don't think, I don't think he should have <laughs> threw it. Which I think. <laughs> he threw it in the crowd. I think he should have threw it, but I do think that girl. He was literally in your face, and then right when he got out of your face, you pulled out your phone. Like this is Chris Breezy like, saying it to you. A thousand of these views everywhere. You're literally going to get a thousand of them because people report every time somebody does a chair dance. Yeah. Like 
It's like, bro, you just wasted it. But at the end of the day, did he pay for the phone? I don't know what he did about her phone. Chris Madden said that she got the phone back. Yeah, that's what Oh, she did? That's what he said. It probably, but that could have hit somebody in the face. I wouldn't even put them back. Yeah, but what do you got to do? Don't touch my phone. <laughs> no, he 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 had the third phone. You feel he me? Had, but she didn't have to. She didn't have to. She didn't have to fan like, out up there either. Like, act like, like, yeah, like you've been here before. When he politely put it down, that was the respect moment of like, put your phone down. down. Like he really should have said, "Hey," but but then if he would have said, "Hey." Get this bitch off the stage. No, she don't stay on my phone, man. Please, somebody else who really want to sit with Chris Brown, come on the stage. Then Why she would have been like, Chris Brown, she's pulling off the stage. Because, because, no, huh? Because she's pulling off her phone, that means she don't want to sit with him? Or is she trying to record? Like, she was literally looking awkward as hell. I don't know why he even called Bobby Young on the stage. She was looking crazy. She was literally like this. Every time he came, she was just like this. It's like, you're supposed to be relaxed, sitting down. Like, even at the Tiana Taylor concert we went to, when they got, when she was doing all that, nobody was not, yeah, when she was hopping, 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 they was not like this, oh yeah, let me get it. No, you enjoying this moment because yeah. you're never gonna be that again. Yeah. That's a one in a million, somebody how put I you on the stage. I understand that, but you can't throw yeah, it around. Like, <laughs> no, no, I'm not disregarding the phone throw, but I'm just saying, <laughs> girl. Just act like, like you're you getting tight. Like, it's like you're getting tight, because she's not, like, you pulled me on the stage, nigga. I feel like they should be better with the she was at the table. Yeah, like she I didn't even know the words. What you want me to she didn't even know the words while she was singing. Yeah, she could have just been like, I want to stay. I think that's crazy for the third phone. And I'm, I like Chris. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, <laughs> saying it's not crazy to throw the phone, but it's crazy to sit on stage and look like that while Chris Brown is performing for you. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Well, she should have never got on. You had to, you, you was, who says no to Chris Brown? She had to be I'm doing this. If I was on a crowd, <laughs> if was, she had to be doing this right here. Ain't no way Chris Brown said, you right there who's looking at your phone. Like, cause she's, cause no. I want to take you down. <laughs> yeah, I want to take you down cause you looking at your phone. No, like, she was begging to be on stage. Yeah, I understand. But still, all in all, uh, yeah, all in all, Chris Brown, <laughs> don't, 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 all in all, Chris Brown, you want to throw in that girl phone. Don't just buy her phone. I'm not gonna lie to you. And pay for the bill. <laughs> the <whole laughs> <I go> <laughs> no, throwing the phone is crazy, but she didn't have to be on the phone either, though. Right? Right. She was so on the phone. I didn't see. Like, I didn't so on. <laughs> she was passing. I don't understand. I don't even understand how you what, how you could be on the phone with Chris Brown. Right? Like it is like not saying that they're whatever, but it's like you on the stage. Like I said, you're gonna get a thousand of these views. Like that's how we see you on your phone and him throwing it because somebody else was just working. That became the highlight. That became the highlight. Though. Of your thing, like you're the girl that Chris Brown went through your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy, though, Chris Brown. Yeah. You boy, Breezy. Yeah. Breezy. Get it together, Breezy. Pick better bitches and stop throwing their phones. No, speaking of Chris Brown, did y'all see that video of him supposed to snort that coke? What? Not oh, that it's in the news. Do that on <laughs> Not that it's a news flash. Man, y'all know Chris Brown. Shows, but he yeah. was like, he was leaning down. He, he was leaning down at the club, and he was like, he did a bump of the club. That's what And Cocaine loves cigarettes. You don't know one Cocaine who don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I swear to God. Cocaine loves cigarettes. That's right. <laughs> Think about it. You don't know one Cocaine who don't smoke, you don't smoke cigarettes. But this is my thing. Yes, it'll be immediate. Just like you said. <laughs> but that's <laughs> not crazy. This should be crazy. I'm kind of like, how, like, I don't know how people catch stuff like that. Well, because it was so quick. That if nobody else would have pointed out that he did that, I would have never known. I would have thought he was reaching out and then he got the the the, the blunt because it went that fast. If he did, if that's the thing. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a few videos. Because he literally went. Like, how did you do that in one motion? Fucking addict, bro. I would have been like, <laughs> oh, I didn't even get the shit. That's because yet. you're not a coke user, so you would imagine that. I'd have been like, like, that shit was one motion. I'd have been like, this. He don't even know he did it. He don't even know he did it. Like, I was like, I need a, I need a something. Yeah, I don't you know, know. Like, you don't even know he did it until you seen the video. But fuck, I did it in front of everybody. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. I feel like everybody. I don't want to say I support drug use. That's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. That's not what I want to go on here and say. <laughs> but everybody has their. They look bitch. You know, everybody has, everybody has a choice, bro. I know a lot of functional 
Coquettes. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to name them because that would be crazy. Because I know a lot of people <laughs> go to work and they work hard, and when they get paid, they fly themselves. But and, that's, and they should. They should be able to do that. <laughs> like, they should be able to do that. I'm calling them coquettes because they do coke often. That's a, that's a good question. What's a coquette? Because I feel like a coquette is somebody who does coke every day. If you go but out if you and you coke every day and go to work, Mm. And work hard, like like I said. No, you didn't. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, because well, because yeah. that because that 100%, yes, hundred percent. But that's not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not wait, 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 I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, you do what you do, and you do it, and just be safe. That's all I can say. Just, just be safe, safe because safe. you're right. Everybody safe. has their thing. But a cokehead is somebody who do coke every day. Because I, I was informed that um, people really do do coke yeah. occasionally, <laughs> like it's something. People really do <laughs> uh, it's, it's, so it's, more, it's more common than people really think, no, and it's like a rich people, people, people drug. So it's like you know who's doing it. You know. I know. Listen, I walk into bathroom stalls and people be like, "What's up, man? Want a blow?" And I'm like, "Y'all think this is a good walk?" <laughs> and I just don't know where. Dre and Dave said they wanted to buy. I swear to God, I've been to another party. <laughs> <laughs> I wish a nigga would ask me. I fuck with you. Let's do a line. I'm like, nah. But like, what year I'm was that cool. cool? I'm not that cool. Nah. Like, yeah. You said I'm not that cool. What year was this? Speak it. What year? 2017. Let's do a line. And then again in 2020. Oh, then again in 2020. Oh, yeah. Nah. Okay. Lucky's too OC. They have to be lucky in a place that they ain't doing. Drake got a song, got a song, and he said, lock the door to the bathroom, and they're doing something that is not Pepsi. That's no cap. Yes, and I live in just really be in the bathroom snorting the line. And it'd be a lot of like people working in restaurants, like cooks and shit. Yes, when, when I was your a server, server in the bathroom, when I was a server, going nuts. They were functional cupcakes. Fun- functional anything head. Whatever you have to get you a <laughs> kick, your they're gonna do it. That's that's what they was doing. It was almost crazy. Like, and it's usually the people who take in the trash because that's when they go out and go do it. Like that's when they do it. Like it's people who who can go in like the, the little um closets and stuff and hurry up and do it where the camera's not like it's crazy. It's crazy. What's the time looking like on the camera? Probably that's the time. Like, but next time, time, next time, time. Uh, shout out to Chris Breezy. Shout out, and Jay, shout out to Chris Breezy and all the PR. The whole PR. Yeah. We got a team today. We got a team. Team ready to dream. Next up, we got Mimi, Foster. Posted a picture of her ex fiance, current girlfriend, whatever. Ty Young with Drew Sedora. They was like pulled up in a picture. I'm gonna put a picture. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen, and I'm gonna try to pull the picture. Oh, please don't show me this picture because if you know me. Yeah. If you know me, then you know that Ty. Don't is, say nothing crazy on my show. Ty is a nice. <laughs> no, Ty is a nice. Don't say crazy. Like you got your celebrity crushes. Watch out! Don't don't. Your do celebrity that. crush, Ari Lennox. Don't you do that. You love Ari. Like you love Ari Diarra. You love Diarra. Come on now. Wait. I, the only person, the only two people I ever talk about. It's young and made and time. But it's a lot different. That's crazy, yeah. About yeah, nah, that's sick. That's, that's not sick. That's crazy. You bitches, man, y'all been foaming up with making good since y'all could. Ooh, I'm rapping on the. No, no, it's not. Don't start that shit, girl. Don't start that shit today. Nah, I don't even. I don't do that shit. Either way, Ty Young. Ty Young can't be with Drew. Drew, you wrong. You just got out of that marriage, barely. Yeah, they just got a divorce. And she, that's why he divorced her. Yeah, listen. Oh, God. Mimi posted a picture of them together, and the quote says, <laughs> I mean, and, she, and the song playing is, You thought I was feeling you? That nigga much. When who? Mimi posted a picture of them together, and then the caption on the picture. Show me the picture. Show me the picture. Show me the picture. Because I can't believe, man, I can't believe Ty it is a little munchy, munch, munch. Because Mimi always, but, but Mimi, <laughs> once you, once you, once you, once you, Mimi, Mimi, Mimi doesn't Mimi. have a good history either. I feel like <laughs> it wasn't even booed up. It was but but is it a birthday dinner? She got a birthday dress on. It looks too big, too fancy. <laughs> is it red carpet or is it a dinner thing? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Like, what you think? What that you think that dress looking like dinner. Dinner and <laughs> <laughs> Dinner and like a dessert at home, baby. That's what it's looking like. That's what it's looking like. Anybody watching this on Dona? It's crazy. And, 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 and wavy, it's messy. Does it? Does it? Does it mess it's way up. messier. It's like messy and messier. It's just a mess. There's <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of messy shit going on. Uh, I didn't really know what to think about the picture. I think Mimi, I haven't really forgiven Mimi since she went on. Love and hip hop and told Stevie Day. You hurt me to my core. <laughs> That's exactly what she said. To my core. Like she said it, she did the ugly pause. I remember we would listen. I can't wait. Mariah brought that line up like <laughs> a couple weeks ago and we were dying. We kept using it. I was like, you hurt me to the core. No, but Mimi, no, I will never forgive what's the time. I would never forgive Mimi for hanging up on that bar. How are you talking about that you dropped? How are you talking about that they yeah. he dropped it, but y'all dropped it together? And then you want to get on there acting like you like you may you you do care for your daughter, but in that moment, oh, it's a lot. In that moment, you was not, not caring about your daughter. Give no fucks about your daughter. So don't like try to make it about that. It's a lot of things I can't forgive Mimi for. I can't forgive her for letting Jocelyn come in the crib and call her Molly and May. And she just swing on her. That's what this reality TV. That's what I had to learn. I had to learn that. I had to learn that reality TV is really all a scam. Like they do this stuff. Man, my cotton really is falling. Yeah, it is. It's because it's melting. This shit good though. It's probably melting. The video. Watching the video gonna be funny as hell. I'm sorry, y'all. If you're listening to the podcast, because we have these drinks. That's and they look so good. Two minutes of video, but these drinks, they have like it's a, it's crazy. Oh, no, yeah. The drinks is definitely fine. But yeah, I don't know what's really going on with that picture. I don't know why Mimi would post that. I thought that that was stupid. Um, Mimi posted <laughs> it because Mimi posted it because Ty had her messed up. I know what's happening. Let me tell you what's happening. <laughs> Let me tell you, Ty <laughs> been messing with Drew. Okay. Drew and Ty sure. been messing. Drew and Ty been messing together. It has to be some type of DMs, some type of likes, some type of something, or some type of like, I've seen you someplace or something. It has to be something that's going on that makes Mimi even post them together with the munch sound. Yeah, the munch sound is crazy. There has to be something <laughs> that's crazy. And then Drew just got the, just got the papers. Yeah, from her husband. <laughs> so she outside. She filed divorce first by like 60, 60 some type of seconds. Drew, yes. stop it. You was outside with Ty. Ty thought it said she went on the game. Man, but Drew is pretty though. She's pretty good. She's always so, pretty. Pretty little thotty. Yeah. Shout out to I don't know if you're thotty you know. Shout out to Ty Young. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves the most. Shout you think she'll drop I mean, you think she'll stop doing it? Yes, sir. Who's the door? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all think, why y'all think Drew was the thought? What gives thought? What gives thought? Maybe it's her eyes. <laughs> I think it's the nose. I don't know. She got the thought nose. I don't know. It just gives <laughs> thought. Thought nose. It definitely gives a thought. Y'all yeah, snap with the celebrity crush now. Yeah, you're on cap. Celebrity crush? You don't got a celebrity crush? I ain't gonna lie to you. I stopped talking to a bitch one time over some celebrity crush shit. Yeah, they didn't tell me wasn't it Michael B. Jordan. It was Michael B. Jordan. We were supposed to go see a movie, and it was called Without Remorse. Right. I didn't know what the movie was called, so I was like, yo, what's that movie you said you wanted to see with Michael B. Jordan? And it's called, like, Without Walls or something? And she was like, um, nah, that ain't what it's called, but if I ever meet Michael B. Jordan, I'll be Without Walls or some shit like that, she said. Like, I'm a celebrity or not. Don't tell me you're going to let another, another nigga fuck you till you got no... I just for it. I just fuck you. Fuck you till you ain't got no walls, my nigga. I don't give a fuck if you're talking about Jesus, bitch. You got me fucked up, bro. Like, Listen, I, I never even thought that deep with them. I just think that they're just cute people. She do that shit with a little dirt, bro. I'm like, Listen, but it's, not, bro, I but read, it's not that deep. I really, I really like this nigga. Don't make me cut off this shit, bro, because this song but, but, but is real gas. What makes it too much? What makes it too much? Like, what is acceptable? Nothing. You? None of it, bro. Are you kidding me? So you don't have a celebrity person? My nigga, if I had one, I ain't gonna sit here and say like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna fuck that bitch." She's like, what the fuck? But who, but okay, that's what I'm saying. So you feel like half, like the, the saying the sex part is unacceptable? Yeah, that's crazy. You talking about? Yeah, that. I don't. Think no, I don't even think you should know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me you're celebrity crush, bro. Okay, 
Okay, well, we're not feeling like that, but I'm just but saying. But you don't feel like that either. Like, but I didn't say something too crazy. Like, yeah, nothing too crazy. I'm with you, but that's She right. can't come up to me and, hey, you little dirt. So, like, are you fucking? But, bro, but, I, so, but you crazy. can't say that they look good either. Or like, no, Kira J, no. No. That's so, crazy. Well, that's, that's, yeah, that's crazy. honest. Yeah, that, at least yeah. we have an understanding. So, what, too what are I supposed to say to that? Like, what are I supposed to say? It's not, it's nothing. All you have to do is say, like, a little, like, I say to her when she talk about one of her celebrity crush too much. I be like, yeah, because you like her or something or like something, but it's like, bro, you're not gonna be with them. So what's the point of really getting mad? And then on top of that, it's like you with me. I you're not gonna leave me. I'm not gonna let you leave me. So it's what it is what it is for the other people. Well, shout out to y'all. I'm glad y'all got a healthy, you know, line of yeah, you know what I mean. I really, yeah. At least at least when it comes to that. Nah, that's yeah, right. crazy, bro. I'm not you can't tell me no shit like that. Alright, next final hot topic that I got before we jump into the main topic of the show, which we don't even know nothing about. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm excited about it. Yeah, no, I'm excited about it. Alright, uh, John Moran. Man, John Moran. It's hard not to talk about him. It's hard not to put him on a trending topic because he's everywhere. Yeah, he's everywhere right now. But the but say what you have to say. Well, besides him, put me on. Put me on what's going on. And recently bringing up about him beating up a boy or something. They suspended him today. Yeah, and then he he pulled out the gun at a strip club. Yeah. What's your opinion on that? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I feel like, bro, I feel like people hold athletes to way too high of a fucking. Oh like, no, I don't feel that. Stand no, I, I feel like I feel like. When did this happen? The gun should just happen. Like, the gun like, should happen today. They suspended him today. Just bro. made the hot topics like the gun shit. It's the whole. Why would he pull out a gun? He's like, in a strip club and he just pulled out a bitch. Which is kind of crazy. He moves like a fucking rapper, bro. He he he's moving. He got the grills. He he looks like a, I don't know why he's portraying this gangster ass image when he wasn't like that at all in high school, like or college, or like. Cause so he's basically basically gone from the team now. They suspended him for two games, but no, but that's the next step. No, nah, no, 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 no. He's a, he has a max contract. He's not going nowhere. They, they, he got paid a quarter million dollars. I don't oh, even know who this is. The only reason why I know the Allen Iverson 2.0. The only reason why I know who he is is because of this back, like this horrible stuff that's in the news right now. Well, not horrible, this action that's in the news. Yeah. Point is, listen, John Morant, listen, bro. You um, you made it, my nigga. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta act like that. You got a quarter million, quarter of a billion dollars, two hundred and fifty million dollar contract. Oh, my just play basketball, Thank bro. You, you ain't got to throw on the chains and the grills and throw out the blickies. Because he liked that. <laughs> he liked that. So how come I don't hear about him? Is he really young? Yeah, he is young. He's young. fresh. You do not hear about him. You're just not in the sports. Yeah. Like, you're not even tapping into sports. I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I watch every single game. Yeah, but you know but I don't really. My audience, like, what I watch, like, my timeline and shit is always sports, so like I know what's popping in the league. Yeah. It's hard, like I don't know how you don't know how to do this. Yeah. I don't know because my, he can you know, jump. My, he's, he's a like, real big skywalker. Uh -huh. He's a skywalker. He will. He can jump. Like how old is he? John Morant, maybe 23, 22. Like okay, he. Okay, so he's my age. Okay, so he got a lot of. You're twenty two. Yeah, he has longevity. I'm twenty three. Oh, I'll be twenty four in April. April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. For real. Nah, I ain't. But yeah, no. John Morant's he's fired. He's fired with the ball. <laughs> John Morant need to play basketball, bro, and leave all that other yeah, shit. Yeah, like, with his age going into consideration, no. No, bro, because it's not. Look at the era that's raising him. Listen to what he listens to before a game. He listens, like I said, before a game, he listens to Young Boy. And there was one other person who said, anybody who listens to the NBA, Young Boy thinks they're being so. Cause even me, if if, if if you put on the right foot creep right now, I'm convinced. Yeah, she'd be turned up to that. I'm convinced that I could fucking blame a nigga. I'm convinced, and I'm not even like that. That shit just consumes you. That shit consumes you. So I'm not saying it's right, but that's why. He, like, that's what's that's what's influencing the um the culture. I see. But the it's post. the whole background, though. Yeah. Like if he if he. What is his back? What is his back? From my understanding, a real suburban dude, like Kodak said, like he a real, like I understand if you came from that right. and it was just hard to shake the shit, right, right. but it's almost nerves. like you, you exactly, but it's almost like you like trying to it's prove like you, you that. that. Yeah, bro, you got a quarter of a billion, my nigga. 
You feel me? They say he grew up like, you know, white picket fence, like real, like real suburban. I see the picture of how they was dressed, but I seen another post that said, to be fair, I know a lot of dudes who are fairies who did, who, I know a lot of dudes who dress like this that were pure criminals. Like, That's what I was going to say. I was going to say criminals. who says that. Like, I was going to say you raised like this. Don't mean when you go outside, you're not like this. Or how long was he raised? Like, like, who knows his real story? Yeah. Like, what is the, like, like, was it from child? Like, did they get money when he was like 12 or like what was he around like you know what i'm saying it's different things because everything is always what it seems his it's ass like, played like, for the memphis you know, grizzlies like, just because you never had like this you, like, i come from a pretty nice like a nice life and so some people could think that like i'm not like that for real but like i disagree i disagree <laughs> yeah. but i think it just becomes on like, like even you that's a fact. Like you think I'm pussy? Like because But I'm also not holding guns on the internet and that's, like, yeah, and that's what's and, and that's what I was gonna think about yeah, when I was gonna say but his things that he's doing is very, are they're very immature. Like are you drunk doing this? Is someone telling you your ear to do it? To hold up a gun in a strip club? Because who does that? It's been and so we, many you have instances. A gun in a strip club. Personally. It was an instance. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> Bro, it's, it's it's been like five occasions. I don't know why they've been a suspend this nigga. It was they one where you just said why he's, 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 he's fired. It was one where his friend got kicked out of the game and the friend and him was in the car and pointed they say a laser at the visiting team's bus, my nigga. So like the gun, you feel me? It was another one where his mom got into that finish line and he showed up nine deep. Deep yeah, world. like it's like this nigga's moving like he fucking El Chapo or somebody. Like my nigga, you not. What are you doing, bro? If you don't go out there and fucking she dribble the fucking ball. basketball, ball. bro, like come on, bro. A quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a billion, two hundred and fifty million. How how do you get that? It's over a time. It's like a it's like a four year. You know what I mean? They ain't give it to him in a but that's his yeah, win of it. Just signed the shoe deal with Nike. Just signed the shoe deal with Nike. Just signed the shoe deal with Nike. Yeah, and you on Instagram, like you a, you look like a rapper, like, like you got a gun in a fucking what? club, my nigga. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy. He look, I think, I think it's the environment. I think it's Memphis, bro. He been out there with money bag. You on them boys yeah, courtside. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Then I gassed him up. And but like, sports and music is so like one. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's all black know, culture. It's yeah. all black culture, so it's it's definitely that. I gotta say that. You looking it up? I'm trying to look up his Instagram. Oh, he deactivated all of it. Oh, okay, great. They, his publicist told me to do that. He didn't want to do it. Like, his publicist should have got on that months ago. You're going to take a shot? Nah, I have to have his opinion on him because, honestly, I don't really know him. The only opinion I can really give is that you young black men need to understand that, please, honestly, just do right. It's so easy to do right. Well, it's like, not easy, mean, but... You, they still need to do right. Like you know, it is easy. It is easy to do right because if they just sign you, all you have to do is play the basketball. Oh no, it's easy for him. For him to do but right. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but you too, because it's oftentimes where I can maybe do something to where I can get more money. Because that's really what I'm about getting more money. I can do get more money, but I'd be like, nah, I'm gonna just wait it out because you never know. Like whatever you put out, it never matters. Really, do come back. Like I'm not saying I'm perfect, but. With situations that I can really control, like it's just like a hard. Yeah, like, don't don't trick yourself out of your own life. So. Yeah, like don't do that. Like it, it's like I know it might seem rough, but mm-hmm. like when you finally get there, it, it'll get better. It'll it'll get better. You just have to be focused. This is really for my young black men because it really is hard out here. But get it how you get it. <laughs> Nonetheless, get it how you get it. Shout out John Ray for and just tighten up. We're talking to all y'all celebrities. You know Do better, you man. Job you, know you know good goddamn well you ain't no gangster. You ain't no, you not dirt. You not money bag. You you are a point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies. Go out there and who, man. Memphis, are they really good? Take your role. Yeah. They the second They second in the West right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know nothing about sports. They good. I'm going to get into those sports. They good. Okay. <laughs> all right, man. So I'm going to get on the camera talk. You get on the camera talk? Yeah, we good. Why you look at me like that? I mean, no, no, I'm talking about because I said I'm gonna get into sports. That's what. <laughs> Don't worry, I know that's cat. I just wanted you to see. I know that's cat. Yeah, yeah. So hot topic, hot topic. We'll take another shot. Hot topics. Oh, 
I mean, not hot topics. We don't want the hot topics. Oh, okay. main topic. Before we get into main the topic. Room. Okay. Yeah, this segment of the show is actually called "I Ain't Trying to Start No Shit." I never, I never say the name of my segments, but I need to. Start okay, well, this one. And and who did you quote this from? I quoted this from my grandma. My grandma's favorite line used to be right before she started some shit. I was like, I ain't trying to start no shit. She didn't say that. And then say some bullshit. Yeah. I ain't trying to start no shit. But rest in peace, my grandma. I ain't trying to start no shit, but that bitch me yeah. grandma. Grandma, grandma. Like, no disrespect, but. Yeah, yeah. And then say something crazy disrespectful. That's like when somebody say, um, no offense, but. Yeah, no offense. Like, you literally about to offend me. You know, <laughs> like, it's two seconds. That's, that's, that's. So, so, we taking another shot before we jump into it? Okay, whatever. Let's do it. You want to start for it? Gotta get a turn on the side of the shit. Tell them again. Say it again. I need to hear it. I ain't sorry for shit. She moved in. Let me grab another cup. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take these shots behind the scenes and then we'll be back for some shit. Alright, shall we be back? I had to take the quick little break. Shots are getting harder to go down. It's the most breaks that has ever been on the side of the world. Yeah, no, my mom. I think I know that though, but just for the for a normal night, yeah, that's a fact. That's a that's a fact. So um Let's get into yeah. let's get into the shit. Let's get some shit, man. Let's get into some shit. Too much more. For those, I don't think people don't know, but just in case anybody is watching it, doesn't know. Um, or listening, yeah. Or yeah, I gotta say that too. Or listening, I can't be forgetting about the listeners. Cause nah, the, and it be listeners, bro. My downloads do go up, so people are listening. And I just want to say I really do appreciate y'all because that's really where the motion rolls in. It. That's where I'm gonna start getting. You know what I'm saying? I love it, so I do appreciate that. For anybody who doesn't know, this is my girlfriend. We've been together for uh, two years. Uh, two years. But we've been involved for like, or he was one of those like situations. But anyway, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, that's just it's like one of those. But like, you link one time and then like y'all together. But like, you don't clarify that y'all together. But like, y'all together. <laughs> go together real bad. Like, go together <laughs> real bad. Like, <laughs> like don't play with me. I, I guess that, that's how you sum it up. Yes, that's how you sum it up. We was together but not together, but then we really got together. So when do you think we really got together? Like when do you think we really got together? Oh, let's see. Hot. That's, what that's not even a topic. I'm just, oh, wondering, I'm just wondering, like, your time. Like, when do you feel like we really got together? Really, when I feel like we was together, this is the thing. Like, the only reason why, okay, don't. I feel like we was really together, honestly, two times. <laughs> but I don't know if this is around the same time. Actually, I think three times. The first time I thought we were together. Yeah, tell me the time. The first time I thought we were together was in Puerto Rico. But that was the first time we had even, like, really was even around each other. But it felt like we was together. It just felt like, okay. But we this, leaked before that. Like, well, like, twice. the pictures from Puerto Rico, like, we look like we've been together for three years already. <laughs> like, that's why, was we together or not? Like, I was trying to take showers with her on the trip. Like, she was like, nah, like, girl, like, the it's rip. the first trip. And I'm like, but well, we didn't get them. Off the rip, she's like, yo, like, yo, you shower with your first one? I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, she's like, you just got from the airport. <laughs> yeah, we just, like, bro, I just got <laughs> With your, with and your that's person. That's in school, so speedy I was speedy speedy gates. Gates. What I told you, Speedy Gates. Yeah, Speedy Gates. I'm with actually With your speedy person gates. is crazy, bro. <laughs> so, what? With your person is crazy. You like, never shower with your person? Why are you saying with your person though? That's that's what. What you mean? Keep going, Kira. Like we had just got there. You oh you oh okay. <laughs> because, because I don't get it because that was my first job already. That's why I, that's why it's going over my head because I'm like, what do you mean? She's saying that we already went to go back by the flight by the flight. But yeah, do you remember what I said to you on the flight? Yeah, she said this this trip can either go really really good or it can go really really bad. <laughs> Real shit said, though. What did she say? I said this trip would go one or two and we either really, really, really like it. Oh yeah, he doesn't yeah. really love it here. Or we're just gonna go. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. And then I, I said, said what you think. think. But I asked her, I said what you think? You shook your head and you said, I think I'm all over here. That's what she said. <laughs> you literally shook your head like, God damn it, I should have not done this shit. I think I'm all over here. Yeah, because I'm head. like, literally. let me just I'm like immediately after that she wanna take a shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, no. It was a it was a great trip. That yeah, was that fun though. We yeah, that was a great trip. That was a great trip. That was a good trip. If I could go back during that time, from the moment we got off the flight, that was a good trip. No, from the moment we got 
like the moment before the flight. It was good. I look good. Shots. I look. I took shots. Oh Lord. Uh, that's because it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> remember, remember, it was Thanksgiving. So yes, it, it was my mom's birthday. Like I, I looked, I really did. I felt great. Like I honestly was broke as hell, but I was going on that trip. Like I literally was broke, broke, broke. Like I don't even know how I made it, but I was in school and I needed that trip. No, it was a good trip though. It was a good trip. All right, so Puerto Rico. What was the other time you thought it was a good trip? The other time was um. I don't know if oxtails and um ox the one I cooked your oxtails. Um, oxtails when that was at my apartment. Like we had like a long distance relationship at first because I was coming back and forth from Miami to Lakeland and I don't like long distance. And I really was trying to like honestly truthfully, I was trying to make you move there without saying move there, but it was too fast to tell somebody to move there when they already got their own plans. And then it was just like a lot during that time when she wasn't trying to move nowhere, <laughs> but where she wanted to go. Right, right. I was heavy. Damn, I, I, I feel like I missed all of those odds when you truly showed me that. Because I'm more right. of a in-person person. Like, when we were on the phone on FaceTime, it's hard to get to know because I want to do, do, do. Like, I want to cater. I want to... I just want to do so. It's hard to show. Saying, so like, Shorty's saying all of this shit about us being together real bad. But there was, was times during that time for a period. It'd be Monday the third. She'd be like, "Yeah, I'm doing this. I won't talk to Shorty again until Monday the 10th. <laughs> so saying we go together real bad was confusing me. But nonetheless, though, I didn't. I knew you. Fuck. I knew it was never like I'm not gonna try to play like you. Like I knew you fuck. Like I knew what it was. But I just feel like. I don't think I felt like we were together, but it probably said like. But I said it was my three next, times. My next birthday. I think I said times. yeah. I said three times because then then it stopped. We don't go together because like <laughs> I don't know what happened. And it's like something else are off in no. between us, so now we don't go together no more. But then it's like when we get back to that moment, it's like damn, is this my girlfriend? Like do we go together? A not. It was like, but then it's like, like, damn. It's when we was together. We was together. Yeah, we used to call each other um, inside, like, inside out. out. We was inside out. We was inside cousin. Like, like, we wasn't. We was outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most. It was. Shit. Yeah, it was very. But hey, hey. A truth it story. worked up. Right, 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 right. right. No, the truth is still working. But um, either way, the hot topic of the book. Damn, we already on the hour. So <laughs> this, is, this is good. I want to know. What do you think? It's hard about dating you. And I'm going to tell you what I think is hard about dating you. And I, then I want you in return to tell me what you, oh you get what God. I'm saying? Which means, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a good question. Okay, what's hard about dating me? And I'm going to tell you, and then I'm going to tell you what's hard about dating me, then we'll tell each other if it's it, Can it be more than one thing? Or just one main thing. She, or one main thing. She just, put a flame in your ass. <laughs> no, no, it was about me. I'm talking about myself. Oh, short sure, looking boy. <laughs> but, I'm about, no, I'm, but I'm talking about yeah, yeah, okay. what's hard about dating you. Tell me your top three things. What's hard about dating me is that my attitude, like once I feel a certain way about something, it's like a no. It's like it's really no change in my mind after that. Like, and, and I'm gonna stick firm on it, even if like at this point, like I know you're right. At this, like I, I don't know. It's just something about the attitude that you know, gets it. It just gets you going, and it's there. Um. But I feel like attitude is everything. Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> no. Like I'm trying to think of something else, but I feel like that's like the, the biggest thing. Like I feel like that's like one of the biggest things in communication. I kind of suck at communicating because I really talk to myself all the time. Most of the time, I'm always in my head. So it's like I never really go and ask somebody for any advice. Like I don't call my mom. I don't call you no know, aunties, Vera. Like if I do, it's like when I'm feeling like low. So if I want to communicate with somebody, I'm communicating with my person because that that's the only time I get to communicate. So it's like, I don't know, I don't really talk to nobody. So I just keep it in, truthfully. So you think the hardest thing about dating me is that? Yes, and communication. I feel like communication in a, in a situation that could be like handled differently. If maybe I communicated with somebody else and maybe heard another opinion because I feel like for you you talk to a lot of different people 
like when you're feeling right. away about something, or you talk to your mom mostly. Oh, you like, no, I'm talking about your mom, yeah. or like one of your close friends who like are like in a situation that you like. Either way, yeah. you talk to people and you get advice. So it's like for me, I'm in my, I'm talking to myself mostly. So like when you're getting advice from other people, you can kind of like. Like kind of like I don't know relate, especially if it's from somebody who you respect, such as your mom. So it's like if you have that, then you'll be able to like kind of communicate, kind of thing, a little bit better. Like because right when I don't like something, now my wall is up. Now I have an attitude. Now I'm not talking. And then when I do talk, it's now I'm like this, and that's like nah, it's just not right. Okay. But that's it. That's really I just think about it. Okay, so I guess it's my time. Yeah, it's my time. thing about dating. The hardest thing about dating me is that I am probably a person who is very big on what they've seen. It's hard to date me because I, I'm, I'm heavy on like, oh, I've always seen so, 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 and this, and this, and this, and that's your parents. And that's really, and I have a hard time of like I'm realizing sure. that just because this is what I've seen doesn't mean this is how it goes. I think that's the hardest thing about it. And it could be the two parent thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's not that because I don't really know. But I think that that's what's hard about dating. And even for me, like it's hard for me to bring generational things that I've seen. I know that about myself. I think for I me, generational. Like, because I see my mom do so certain things that she, I think the person that I, I'm looking for that in a person. Or because I've seen my dad do certain things, and I'm not a man, but because that's my role in a relationship, I think that I should cap at certain things. This should be what it is. Because this is what I've seen for no other reason whatsoever. I have no other yeah. reason in life whatsoever to think that this is how something should go, other than this is what I've seen. So I think that's what's hard about it. That's why I said two parents because you have two parents, so that's what you see. That's why I was like, right. basically, like going into more detail, so they were basically right, 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 right. I've had two parents, so and I have it. one. Basically, I have one. Like my dad was there, etc. Like I hung out my dad birthdays and stuff like that. But right, no, not in the house, nothing like that. So it's kind of like, but even then, a lot of that goes into I think two. You act a lot more like your mom than you would say you do. Oh no, I know. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's what you've seen. So it's like, but you also have your own ways. Yeah, like you've I, seen your mom do certain things, but you be like, nah. Yeah. For I'm me, I don't. It's almost like I've seen it like this. It worked for my parents. No one other, none of my other friends really had two parents. Two parents. So to me, that was the working way. And it's hard for me to see it. Like, I'm 27 now, and I'm just starting to realize. Like, like I'll say things to like my mom and be like, it was like this. And she'll be like, you think I like that? Or I'll say things to my dad and he'll be like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, so I'm just now realizing like, oh shit, the things that I dwelled on for so long aren't the only way. So I think that's just hard to do. Because I see me, I can see, I, I've seen a lot of things, but you kind of make your own way. Yeah, because I see so many different things, I might, might dibble where my mom maybe you know might take some right, 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 right but like at the end of the day no at the end i'm gonna do it better right like right. i'm gonna modify it until it's my own way but like it, it has to be completely different that's what the, that that's what, yeah that's and it. even me i can modify it but i'm always still you searching for the root even of that. if i say something that reminds you of your mom whether it's good or whether it's bad like maybe something like one time I licked my finger and then licked her and then like, yeah, bro, that's nasty. Okay, I'm just kidding. That doesn't do with my mom. I said something to my mom when I was younger about it because it's nasty. Like, okay, but I'm okay. But what, what, what was something? Finger and white. What was something else then? What's something else that your mom said? That? Either way, it'll be something like like something that maybe like made her feel away like like childhood and it should be like, my mom used to say that or something or right, right, she'll right. get agitated by it. Because the, it, it's like um, a childhood memory or something, okay. so that so then it'd be like, well, that's not even that's not even what I meant. Like that's not even what I meant by it. So then it just be like, no. Yeah. But it's not all the time. But yeah. So what's hard about that in you? Yeah. So that's what you my think thing. is really hard about. So now that I hear yours, 
you think it's your attitude, I think it's the fact that we all see things wrong. Do you agree with what I think, or do you have another thing that's I think, about? yes, I, not because of that same thing, but I think you do only see things one way. Like, it's like it's like you have a, a certain halfway point. Like, you will see it, and then you don't see it. Like, it, it's like, you understand, but it's like, nah, that, that <laughs> like, Nah, Rachel. Like, nah, I don't really like. But, but still, like, it, it's really still this. Like, it's really still, and it's just like, or like, you know, some stuff you really wouldn't like take. Like, you, you, you even said like, I, I'm not gonna take that, but then you want somebody else to take it. But it's, but I get it. But I get it. Everybody do have their own choices. But it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing you. What? It, Man, I don't know. That's a whole other topic for another situation. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I mean, but that it's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. It's interesting. But it's interesting. I'm, I'm trying to see how I'm going to word this. It, it's just like I don't. I don't want to say communication because you communicate great, but you also hold. Great. You, you communicate great. I'm, I'm not saying like through I text messages. You I'm communicate words. great through writing. I think. I think maybe we should do that, like have a jar, and like if we're upset, put what it is in the jar, and then maybe like take it out maybe at the end of the week or something like that, and like talk about it and have like a whole thing, because you hold things in because you think that people do not care about them, but it's not that people do not care about them, it's just that by the time you get to that point, you already mad. You're super duper mad, but I but I get that you said it so different, many different times. But you feel like you said it so many different times, but sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're like, it's okay, it's all right. Like you had like everything was okay. okay. It's okay, it's all right. It's because I've said it so many other times. I think that that's. I think <laughs> but you feel like that. But I feel like you feel that way about a lot of people. I feel that way about a lot of things. Yeah, and I think it could just be an inner me kind of. And I'm saying like maybe but I see him. I be saying that. But this is not. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, you're really getting me. <laughs> that, but that's what you I'm saying. He gets me, he gets me. You, you can go into tell me what you think is hard about that universe. But yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. But that's why I'm just like, it's not it is it is not that. It's just like how like like you're always the person to be like, it's okay. So then it's like, I guess when you say something's not okay, it's like, I hear you, but you really want to be heard. Like, you really want to be, like, you want to be really like, which anybody want to be that way? You want to be understood like how you would like to be understood, but I since be wanting, you, no, no, I be wanting to be understood how I would be understanding. I yes. be wanting people, like, bro, I am the most understanding person under the sun, honestly. I take credit for that. Like, I really be understanding, bro, but... But I don't be understood, bro. <laughs> I don't be understood, but that's what you think is going to be. Yeah, honestly. Other than that, you really like a fly on the wall. I would be. Like, I thought you were going to say that was too much. I'm honestly surprised. I mean, I at this point, I've gotten used to it. It's nothing, it's you. <laughs> it's just my personality. Yeah, it's just your personality. Like, either it, it is what it is, like, I, like, I can't. That's why I'm surprised you said attitude. For yourself. That's like, at least, like, your attitude. To, but you really, I feel like you've said that so many times. Your attitude is bad, but. Okay, so go with what you think, because we only meet now. Because you're trying to dying <laughs> to tell me face to face on camera, no, that's on the, the I thing. Mean, tell me now! I'm more interested in learning what you think is hard about it. No, that's what I did. The nonchalant, like, that's you. So you said it's me thinking that it's me basically only seeing things one way. Only see it one way. Like, the communicate, like, when I say communication, like, even as far as, but I just had to talk to one of my friends about this. Even though I said I don't talk to people, but I, I, I did talk to this friend recently or whatever. But you just want to be heard in the, in, the, in the moment. Like, not in the moment. Like, you want to be heard, but you want to feel like you're being heard. Like, instead of me saying, oh, um, well, I felt this way. You really just want, you want to be heard all the way. And then maybe to the next day, I can say, well, in that moment, I felt such and such, but in that moment, you just can't say it. It's just, it, and, it, and I was talking to my friend about it, and I said, I feel like it's psychological. I feel like it's a psychological thing for the other person, even maybe for both people. 
Like, you want to feel like you're being heard, so I cannot say how I feel in that moment for you because you feel like I'm not hearing you. But you, but why can I not say that, that it's a miscommunication in that, in that time? Not because I'm not hearing you, and not because I don't understand you, but I want you to know that in that moment, I was never trying to make you feel that way. So that's where it gets like all tangled up, because it's like, huh? Like, who was ever trying to disregard your feelings? I just want you to know that in that exact moment, what I was, what I was, what, what, what my actions were supposed to be given. Not, like, I get what you're feeling, but it wasn't supposed to be given that, and I, like, I don't know. I but don't I definitely know. talked about it with somebody, and they was I like, I think that the way you think, that what you think you're doing in the moment, is never what's actually happening. Because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I say back to you what happened, and you're looking at me like, Yeah, sometimes, no, sometimes, no, seriously. Like, there's so many times, sometimes, like, and then you did this, this, and this, and this, and then this resulted to this, no. and you're like, And I'd be like, Really? Like, some, like sometimes, like, sometimes, no, like the other night we were talking, and I told her to repeat the whole conversation, and I said, Dang, that happened? Like, I'd be blacking out because I'd be feeling disrespected, so now I have to get my guard up. So that's when the communication and attitude comes in that is bad about dating because you can't even hear, you can't even recall the conversation because you know, you already snapping. Like, what is wrong with you? Because you're already cursing me out. You're already cursing me out, and I'm already like, I'm confused. And now you're over, now you're cursing me out. Or now I'm saying absolutely nothing. Now yeah, or now we're quiet. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do you think? What I think is hard about dating you? I thought you were going to say attitude. Nah, mm-hmm. your attitude. But most of your attitude I'm adjusting to. Like, I know when you're going to, like, when you're doing the most, like, yeah. I know when you're being extra. Like, I, I kind of have adjusted to your attitude. I think the probably the hardest thing about dating you is, is what I said. You don't, like, you have a blackout section where you don't realize the things that are leading <laughs> To what you see me. So then I just lose my shit. So then you lose it. And now I'm like, and you're like, why are you so mad? And I'm like, now you're like, so, <laughs> now you're like, I'm so mad. I'm, so like, I'm crazy. Don't try to act like I'm tight. Crazy. Now I'm tight because for 15 minutes I let you pop your shit. <laughs> and I said absolutely nothing. And you said in return, so you're not going to say nothing. So you're not going to say nothing. So now I got some shit. So now I got some shit to say, and you're like, why are you even saying that? I'm like an argument, like, not an, like I hate when like I feel a certain type of way, and then like I say something, and then she says absolutely nothing, like as if I didn't just say something. But it's not like, <laughs> or, like, or, it's like or, or as if we do not feel that it's static in this room. It's definitely but it's like saying, true. but what is saying something but, really gonna do? Right? Saying something is it not gonna, gonna do anything positive? Because I want to talk to you. The other I person, miss you already. But we're already <laughs> not talking. Like I heard people dating you. The other person, Jalen, look at what that's crazy. Another listen. The other thing you do. This all goes into one. Is that you will literally get mad, then be like. So now you mad? <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah. What? Okay. You know, the type of shit I ain't on. Then you really be like, yo, yo, she'll get a whole fucking attitude walking ahead of me, fast as fuck, and be like, so you mad because you walking all the way back there, shorty? You just walk fifty five thousand miles per hour in the parking lot to the yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I knew we doing that. I'll be walking real fast, and I just be like, oh, and I'll get in the car, and I'll be not talking it. Finally, when I'm done with attitude, I'm like, so, and then she'll be like, I'll be like, like she'll rest with me. I'll be like, I'm she'll be done. She'll be able to talk to me. I'm done. Now I'm done with it. Like, 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 I gotta do I'm better with that. I gotta say, maybe that's the hardest part about dating. How forget you, you are of pieces to the puzzle. Like, it's like we got a thousand piece puzzle, and we only put together 900 pieces because you forgot the other one. <laughs> Listen, I don't like, know. Like, what is it about, Shorty? Other than that, those are like, it's about you. <laughs> I just feel like when I, I, I want that either. I fuck with you. Yes, no, I know you about me. <laughs> I just wonder, like, what? I don't know why it's like that, but everybody, everybody has their little thing. That's why you find the person who's gonna deal with all your little things. Honestly, like that's why you find the person who really is gonna deal with it. Because not saying that you're dealing with it, but nobody is literally in the world is perfect. Yeah, like nobody. 
Like everybody has another side of them. Like you could be dirty a little bit, like, a little bit stained, but, <laughs> yeah, but, but, it's, dirty. but it's somebody called but it's somebody called dirty person, and they might not be dirty, but they might calm down. You know what I'm saying? Woo. Oh, <laughs> what do you think is hard about dating? Like, what do you think is something that's hard about dating? I know you're in a bad time. You so. uh. If I tell you my real answer, I don't feel like you're going to believe me. No, we're going to believe you. Because I'm going to I don't think there's nothing hard about dating me, bro. I feel like I'm a chill nigga, bro. <laughs> okay, and that is not like, I don't do shit, bro. I don't do shit, bro. Listen, bro, I don't bother nobody, bro. I don't do shit, bro. So like, you if you're difficult at all. Nothing about you can be difficult. No, bro. No, I don't do shit to nobody, bro. I don't do shit to nobody, bro. I be chilling, bro. I go to work, bro, and I go to the crib, bro. I don't do shit, bro. Like I, I stay out the way. I re- I literally avoid bullshit, bro. But just because yeah. you don't do that, I don't mean it's easy. Like it could be times where you don't communicate effectively, like. I can Bruh. see, like, Dreadly, like, you be saying, like, some crazy off the wall stuff. Facts. Not saying that it's off the wall. Why everybody say that? But I do think you're a good nigga, though. I say that. Yeah, no, time. it's I nothing. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a good guy. guy. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to confuse you with that. But I do think yeah, I'm not, not saying that. I don't that. think there's nothing hard about dating. Like, what would be hard about, like, I'm, bro, I'll do anything for you if I fuck with you, bro. Like, I'm <laughs> loyal, bro. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you, bro. Like, it don't matter what you do, right or wrong, I'm with you, bro. Like, I got niggas that's being accused of some crazy shit, but, like, they're my niggas. Like, I ain't... No, no, you feel me? Like, if I, I rock with you, I rock with you. So it's like, you damn near can't do no wrong because I'm going to end up forgiving you. I got a big so heart. So you feel like you're perfect in all of those. Emotionally, physically, sexually, physically. Definitely. Um, <laughs> um, I'm thinking it's just um, I'm slinging that shit. Are you kidding me? Damn near, bro. I'm the closest thing to perfect if I ain't perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's what's wrong with Drake What's wrong know? with me though? Honestly, like, what's because wrong with me? Because if you feel like it's like, nothing wrong with you, there's something wrong with you. Because everybody, everybody knows that they're not perfect. I don't think I'm perfect. You got to. So what is an imperfection? Maybe I'm a perfectionist, probably. Mm. Yes. Okay. Maybe it's because I'm a perfectionist, bro. Because, like, I expect shit to be like a certain way, my nigga. Like so I expect like shit to be like. He's like a me. Bro, like if this if shit supposed to be done, bro, like why the shit ain't done, my nigga? Like right. it's certain shit that, and then it's just like it just be certain shit. I don't know, like little shit bother me, bro. Like just do shit the right way, bro, and everything will run smoothly, my nigga. So like, that's probably what's hard about dating you because you want everything perfected. I just want, just do the right fucking thing, bro. What's that ain't gotta be perfect, bro. The right like, no, we're gonna come together if we a fucking team, like we a partner, like do what we set to agree on, bro. Like do what you're supposed to do, take care of your responsibilities, take care of us. But everything will run smoothly, bro. Like everything will run smoothly. Like it ain't even gotta be no bumps in the road. I feel like people make thing. shit harder than it gotta be, bro. This is an additional question. You go everything runs smoothly, fifty fifty. No, I'm a big fan of 50-50. I don't do the general. Okay, we're going to save that for episode one, too. I just wanted to just talk about Yeah, <laughs> nah, I'm not paying. Nah, you crazy. Like a little bit. What are you about to say? 50-50. 50, 50. 50, 50? Hell yeah. What the fuck? Come on, man. Come on, be for real. Be for real, well, man. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not really the really Yeah, she if, if she's nah, not the way I'm going 50-50 is if... Nah, bro. I really. It's if she feel like you, yeah. If you need it, I need you to go 50 50 with me in this moment. But ultimately, again, though, I'm doing a lot of it based on what I've seen. I've never really seen my mom go 50 50. Oh, see, it was a little. I've actually seen, and, and, and I hope my mom won't get mad if she sees this. I've seen my mom fumble a couple bags, and my dad just take it as an L and go back and get it. Your dad or real now, nigga, granted, bro, but I'm listen. I'm not saying that, you know, that, that does that that's what it should be, and that's what it should be. Yeah, if I'm in a position and I need my shorty to go 50 50, I would expect my shorty to go 50 50. I would. But nah. if she said nah. If she said nah, I probably wouldn't. If she said nah and I needed her, she probably wouldn't be my shorty. You feel me? Because I, I need you, not because I expect you to. But. Yeah, no. Nah. For girls who don't want to be with someone and, and go with 50 50. So, what they want to be? Like, what? It's like, realistically. Like, like, re- I'm not saying that it's 
saying sure we shouldn't pay nothing, but 80, 20, bro, even 60, 70, 30. But it's never that because you just said. Well, you agree it should be 100, zero. So I'm not going to be What's up, Kerry J? My it, fault. It what? should be 100, zero. I don't think it should be 100, zero. No, I'm not saying that. The means for it to be 100, zero. Bro, you got to really be a fucking be 50, rapper. 50, 50, though. It really be 50, 50. Why? Because y'all cook and shit like that? Women gotta stop thinking that fuck it, that pussy is the only thing that. You like, feel me, bro? I'm not, I'm not saying. You I'm feel saying, me? So I didn't say that, but he was gonna. Yeah, no, but like. Nah, I'm gonna go there. Why you gonna put that? Yeah, no. Where you don't know. I wasn't gonna say that, like for example, just little things around the house, like like, but that's for me. Like for me, I like to cater. I like to. Like, I don't want you to touch nothing because I want to make sure it's right. Like I, I just want to make sure I do it. Like you don't really have to do nothing. Like the clothes, you never have to touch a cloth. Like. She since we've been together, she has not washed her clothes. Since we've been like that's little things that and you that's fifty percent of the. I'm asking. It's like it's like things that you would not have to do though. Like you think about monetary things, but like if your girl wasn't there, like the well, I don't know, but like just in people's situations, like I feel like sometimes if their girl don't be there, like sometimes it don't really be like. That's smooth yeah. sometimes. Like, not saying that it's always smooth, because y'all wouldn't get into little arguments, but I mean, it's like, the house is running. Like, you getting off and food is cooked. Like, you getting off or and if something is already done. Or like, little things like that, like, that make up for it. Because, like, if you, let, let's take it back. Like, I know it's not back then, but, like, women want somebody who literally kind of, like, not... Yeah, provide. Pro, it's a provider. Shit. Also, it back, Listen, back, man. Back in the what happened to the woman equality and right, movement right. and, and shit like that? that. We taking it back to vote. I think. I think for women, who <laughs> we did not say <laughs> that we want to be a vote. That's what we wanted. Listen, I think for people to say that women and men, and like I said, it's always, it's always tricky for me to talk about it because I'm not a man. But it's like but women say vote. Women say. Role. Women say. Think, women say <laughs> oh, the like. Women are men are supposed to provide and protect, but also back in the day when men were providing and protecting, yeah, but that come with was, shit too. Women though. was quiet. You feel and, me? And, and cooking and cleaning every night. You can't say that. But see, out. you can't say that and then so, be a so city it, girl, it, bro. It, like it's a so certain, it's, it's, it's a certain type so of shit. Nah, I don't want you to be crying every night. No, that's not why I'm cooking for you because now I've thought about. How? Because I want you, you to bring me peace and quiet. <laughs> but peace, but that's her thing. And that I should have said that's what's hard about dating you. I forgot to tell y'all folks. She said, Mariah she, wants you to just be quiet in a relationship. She bro, to be quiet and have sex. Just vibe, bro. No, just vibe. <laughs> like, bro. Like, just vibe. Like, just vibe. Get your car with your seatbelt on. Show just vibe. Like, no, I got it. Bro, I've been playing the video game, bro, and just out of nowhere, a wild ass question comes out of left too. Bro, I'll be editing the podcast. Carol be like, so if I came to here and I barked, then one ear fell off, and I twisted my hair in a circle for three hours. I do be saying what? Right? But I just be listen. You know, I'm, I'm a very girl. energetic person, and she's very calm. So I be bored, and now I'm just in there thinking. So now I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know. But she doesn't want you to be quiet. I don't want you to be quiet. She do. <laughs> He just said peace, peace and be quiet. You said that peace and be quiet. We were like, you said that peace and be quiet. That's what you want. I'm saying, but what's wrong with that, though? Because you talk to me all the time. Like, you I talk don't know. The most I talk is in the studio, my nigga. It's like I never want to talk. You talk to me, nigga. You be no, barking. I, no, I don't. What y'all do? Bark, bark. Dogs. Y'all need leashes. Y'all polish. <laughs> hey, alright, man. Let's, let's wrap that up. So that's what you think is talking about, baby. That's it. Oh, yeah. Nah. So what was the answer for me? Wow! Nothing, oh nothing yeah, okay. Nothing is hard about dating. Okay. Nothing, and that's what's hard about dating. Nothing. It's nothing <laughs> like I be chilling, bro. I'm the calmest nigga. I don't, I don't, don't give chill. a fuck about nothing, bro. Like, like, do what you do, bro. Like, just like, because you're nonchalant, you should go outside more. Like, if I invite you to go outside, you come. Of course. Yeah, I was thinking about inviting him to brunch tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I work. I work tomorrow. But I was like, nigga, early morning, ten to eight. I work at Amazon, man. So we gotta go Friday and Saturday. Yeah, but nah. You say just because I'm not showing sure what though? Just because you're not showing sure, like, y'all feel good. I was like, nah, I had my lashes probably that happened. But, um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. You, you said just because you're not showing sure you stopped. Oh, just because that was her thing. Like, 
just because you're nonchalant, like that, like I need a little bit more, like, like. No, but I get it. I like, mean, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking. Yeah, I'm. I'm talking about you, but to you, as if like another female, like because being nonchalant sometimes is like, do you even care? Now I'm wondering if. If, if you the care because well, the reason I'm nonchalant, bro, because when I do care, bro, and now you blow me, bro, now I'm no, not. No, no, this is exactly why so I'm nonchalant because if my emotions get so too involved, my nigga. Nonchalant and then I start shamanting. Yeah, like, like now, because now that I care, bro, and it's now that you like, violate like, bro. Like a bitch, like, oh, now I'm like a bitch. Yeah, now, now I gotta really like show you something. You feel me? Like now I gotta really. It's contradicting. That's why I'm like. I don't like showing no even fuck that. I really that, bro. truly feel bad for like men because like I will still get the like the relaxing like I'm a girl. You know what I'm saying? So girls will cut me some slack. It's still rare. So I know men is getting no slack. Like, y'all don't have I feel so bad for y'all because if y'all show too much emotion, you a bitch. But if you show no emotion, you a fuck nigga. So I don't know how y'all survive. And that's why you just don't say nothing at all. You feel me? Just don't talk. A wise man won't say nothing at all. A wise man won't say nothing at all. It's a lose lose, bro. You're not going to win. It's a lose lose, bro. My God. But you, you look like you're falling asleep over there. So hold on. Alright, fall asleep. I'm going to wake you back up. 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 I'm going to so this is a good Okay, this or that, this or that. This or that. This or that. So you gotta pick one of those. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Hold on. Three rounds. I might go a little bit more. You ready? Alright. Think you've been on the beat once again. Beyonce. Stop it. My bad. Go ahead. Jasmine Sullivan or Janae Aiko. I had to blow it up. Which one? Which one? I can't. I can't. I plead the fifth. You gotta pick one. It's not either. I know how this goes. I can't like that. That's a hard jump. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Janae. Janae, that's a pride. I love it. It's summer. You played so much jazz music. No, I play jazz music songs at home while I'm working. I put on when I go, I say, um, hey Alexa, play Janae Aiko Ray. Correct, but every time you say that, what comes on that you love that you be so happy to come? It comes on every time. It's something different. Exactly. Yeah, it's something. So that's what I'm surprised. But okay, I'll go with Janae with you. I'll go with Janae with you. Yeah, but no, but Janae, but Janae puts me in a different vibe. Like, 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 it's just something, like, it's something about, like, I do love Jasmine Sullivan, yes, but Janae, like, I don't know, something about her music. Drake or Cardi B? I like it. It's a Drake or Cardi B? That's crazy. The only reason I'm gonna go Drake is because I know him first. I knew him first. If I didn't, I, I'd probably go Cardi B. Too close. Too close. That's the only reason. That's the only. You, you had me nervous for a minute, but I like it, and she ain't. <laughs> no, but I really do like Cardi. She really fucks with Cardi. That's why. Uh, yeah, that's like that's. But what Drake fuck with Cardi though? That's, that's real heavy. Like they that no, for real. That's who like kind of really put Cardi though on in my opinion. Kept like putting them on stuff and things like that. Sorry, boy. It's business coming to an end. It's your first time on the show. Uh, well, it's first time on the show in front of the camera. Because you've been at all 10. Well, not like nine out of 10. The one I think on myself is going to show up today. I, mean, I was there. <laughs> she was in the room. I was in the room mad. I was in the room mad, but I was there because I was in the, I was literally in there listening to it as if it was like a live podcast. Because when she was talking about me in it, I was in there like literally laughing because I wanted to come out there, but I had to hold it together. And it was gone. And so what's going on? This is the day in the life of Max and Uzi. I'm from shit. I ain't gonna put these last things before we go to Bob's. Sorry for what? It's your first time on the show. You gotta tell a story of the time you did something that you should be sorry for. It's your absolute fuck to me, I'm sorry. This should be easy for you. <laughs> I'm not sorry for nothing. sorry for nothing. One time I caught my friend ugly. Oh my god, you're not doing that on here. <laughs> 
one time I caught my friend ugly, and truthfully, I'm not sorry for it because your actions was ugly, and 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 and, and, and things ain't pretty, pretty, pretty either. <laughs> But, but you ask for it. But certain shit shouldn't be. Like, certain shit is just better off not. If that's your friend, like, why would you say that? She's not my friend no more. And, 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 and if. I've been receptive. And if, and if she's watching this, and if she's watching this, then it is, it is what it is. That's not my friend no more. Oh, well, if it ain't your friend, friend, fuck them. Sure. But I'm not sorry for that. Like, even if we was to talk later, like, I'm not sorry for it. So, I mean, it is what it is. Right. Mm. Y'all heard of here, I'm sorry for what? Karen J. Did, I'm sorry for shit. I was going to say, what are you sorry for? Is there anything you sorry for? I'm sorry for shit. Take it here for me. Right here. <laughs> never fucking sorry. Okay, so I'm not telling you all the chest. You're not saying that about my times. It's a perfect show. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's say we're going to wrap it up. We definitely on what's supposed to come until 1 in the morning. That's all I was going to wrap it up because really I got some more shit to say. No, you were old. Oh, shit. You told me to get I'm just kidding. It was we a season. Though. We should do a season. Just me. I was thinking, you know, it's 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 definitely in the works because I've really been here. I've been here and I really do support sorry for what. So when I said just me, you'll be like like this. Okay. Yeah, of course. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be a vibe. Sorry for what it's it's definitely growing and evolving. So let's just see what God has in store for it next. Alright, I was gonna work with my book on that time, but I'm a little bit so. Salem's. Salem's like John Rose. It's been real. It's been a vibe. Thank you so much for joining me for the PR. Thank you all for coming on the show. I appreciate you. It was a vibe. It was different being on this side. Like, it really is kind of like, fuck with me. Yeah. You need at least two shots to get a group ticket. To like open it up. The setup is fun. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's a vibe. The main sorry for shit. And we thank you for the opportunity to tap in. It's been a vibe. Um, yeah, make sure y'all follow and subscribe at the Curation. That on every single fucking thing. Anything um, you can think of, cash out. Yeah, she's that. And I'm <laughs> at sorry for what vibe. And I'm at It's been a real vibe. You feel me? At the cash app, it's crazy. No, it was yeah, not nah, cash at me. No, I was not. I, I, cash at my I'm not going to I was going to say, yeah, that's. I'm that's, not that's I was I'm never, not listen, 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 I was never adding y'all to no, cash no, no, at me. I understand. I was not cash at me. I was just saying, like, even on my cash app, like, that I have the same name, but then Drayley has to be an instigator and shake his head. So I know you're not calling nobody. I know. I don't think for your days of Christmas. Let me shout out your cash app. Hey, nobody's, I just explained the whole thing. My boy Dre, my boy Dre, we looked up like, what the fuck? Hey, you, you living crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, you gonna pay for your bitch day off? Oh my god. I'm going out with the same. No, bro. No, bro. I'm going to pay for your girl's day off. No. If you ain't paying for a day off, cut your dick off. Oh, shit. Get out of here.